All right, so guys, welcome back. Some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We are going to start today's episode off with a mission from Trelawney. Well, you know, we can talk to a couple people before we start. How we doing, Sadie? God help anyone who tries to get past you. Morning. You look pissed off. No more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, then. Yo, she is always ready. She got the gun out. Whoa, why does that saddle look like that? Interesting. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's start with Trelawney. Let's Arthur. do this. Are you busy, Arthur? Not currently, no. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn <laughs> stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Hey, let's do this. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. All right, back into roads. I'm gonna you still seem to have got a bow around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Yeah, I'm really worried about him being in our camp now. Now that he knows the location, because I think he, Arthur was saying in the last episode how he's got a big mouth. So it kind of worries me a little that things might go sideways. Like oh hell yeah, you already know. No, but like. If he talks and gives up the location of our camp, that is not going to end well. We will be going from chill, relaxing, happy moment to probably some bad shit. But I'm not going to think about that. We're going to enjoy our time that we have right now. Just cruising. So he said we're going to the train station. I'm also going to start playing in this. Here we are. Oh, here we go. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. <laughs> all right, Shalani. You got away with words, so this is all you. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. 
We don't want to scare him off. I'm hanging back. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Oh, we gotta pay, we gotta pay him, huh? Here. Ain't you kind, sir? <laughs> Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men. <laughs> That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Arthur's like, what the hell is going on? Inspect document. Still, Siltwater Strand coach trip. Coach coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables and strong box. Passenger is the very wealthy Mrs. or Miss Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. Dude, I always do that. I just barge into these doors. Oh. I'm going to start playing in uh, the closer FOV. Cause I've been playing like with the fault, like River the wide shot. Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Oh, okay, right. let's go this way. Ah, yeah. Well, yeah, I kind of like playing in this closer you? angle. Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. All right. Dutch has a plan. I'm just, I'm really hoping Dutch's plan is, is good because things can go sideways very quick in this world. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Ooh. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is... Damson. 
Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. All right. Wait for the coach. Oh, look there at that. it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Good at what he does. Look at him, charming her. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. The New York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for it. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Wait, am I supposed to walk up there now? <laughs> Loot the strong box without being detected? What an absolute idiot. Why would he walk away from the stagecoach? Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take it! Got it! Oh my gosh. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Dude, that was so smooth, bro. They had no idea. Let's go, Trelawney. Okay. How much did we get? My dear boy, teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Oh, so Alden will have stagecoaches for us to rob. Okay, cool. Dang, we got seven hundred and fifty dollars for that. Oh, eight hundred eighty-seven for for low. Let's go. Yo, we have so much money. You know what we need to do? We really need to um. Now that we have like 3,000, we need to upgrade a bunch of stuff from the camp. We could pretty much afford everything. Alright, let me check out the map. 
Ooh, we have another Albert Mason mission. Hmm. Do we take the trip up there? Oh, our bounty is 100. Huh. You know what? Let's... Let's take the trip up to Albert Mason. I love Albert Mason, so I want to talk to him. And then after that, we're going to hit up Hosea. And I think on the way to Albert Mason, I want to try hunting some animals. Because we, like I said, like I've said this a couple times, but we really need to start contributing some, some pelts to the camp. So we're going to go take a little travel. And along the way, we yeah. shall, uh, shall hunt some animals. Let's do this. Man, guys, guys, come on now. Oh, they are hitting me hard. Hold on. Hold on. They're hitting me hard. One second. Got one more. Two more. Two more. No. And there we go. Where's that last guy? It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Hey. I really don't know what to tell you guys anymore. Like, I just... They just keep bothering me, and they keep getting killed. And I get free loot. Look at that. He had $5 on him. Thank you so much, sir. And a silver emblem ring. Yo, you know, also, too, I want to rob one of these trains that go by. I wonder how much money we could get from just robbing a regular train. That just... Because that, that's those trains travel through the world quite often, don't they? Damn, dude. That guy got a bullet right to the face. Oof. Potent horse stimulant. Ooh, that actually... Oh, wait, didn't we get... Didn't we get, like, a, a recipe for that to learn? Yep. I'm not sure. Anyways, we are gonna keep we are gonna keep moving. Easy. Oh wait a minute, I need to I need to remember to hunt. So I'm trying to look. Oh, wait, that that's a three. Wait, wait, wait. Those are three stars. Those are three stars. Yeah. We could definitely use those. At least one of them's a three star. I don't know which one it is. Yo, they're scaring the deer. Yo, you're scaring the deer! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try and get close. There we go. Wait, which one? Where's the three step? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah. I see you. I see you. Let me get the bow. Where is it? Where is it? Pull out the damn thing! Where's the three, the three star one? No, where'd it go? Yeah. I gotta do this quietly. I don't make, I don't want them to run away. Whoa, easy. Where the hell did it go? I know it's somewhere here. Yep. I just saw it. Oh, they're running again. No, 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 no. Wait. Wait. Wait up. Wait up. Easy. Is that the right one? I really hope it is. Yeah. I hope that's the three star one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was the one. That's the one star. No. Where'd the three star one go? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh, well. I'll skin this one, I guess. Dude, I feel so bad for killing deer. I don't know why. Just animals. They're so, they're so, they're so beautiful. Damn, I really wanted that three-star pelt.
Yeah, that's a poor... Yeah, do I even... Do I even stow this? I feel like it's a waste. Whatever. It is what it is. Let's go, girl. I'm not even going to try and find that other deer. That, that thing's long gone by now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Easy there. I'm trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here. Move on through, boy. We'll be taking them goods. We're just looking for the citizens of Lemoyne. Hey, let the man go. You're gonna have yourself a problem. This ain't no slack jaw outfit. You know what? I think it's time to use one of these. Come here. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me switch. Let me switch. Let me switch. It's all right. No, 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 no! Don't run! Don't run! No! Don't run! Hey, easy now. It's okay. Easy, easy. It's all right. Okay then. All right, slow down. Slow down. Is there anything I can actually loot from this, or no? What happens if I ride it? Does it tell me I could take it back somewhere? No? Wait. Oh, oh. My bad, sir. My bad. Hey. Okay. Isn't... I thought I could take this somewhere. Could, can I take it? Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's the wagon... It's the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. That's where we gotta take it to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm already I'm already on the on the wagon, so I'm gonna bring it there. Uh oh. What's going on over here, sir? Is this guy okay? Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? What? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Oh. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better. You wait, Lily May. What's up, Day? I'll show you. I'll be rich. A nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Yeah, right on, kid. Okay. Good luck to you. I guess he got his heart broke or something by Lily May. That's I. <laughs> hey. He said to be you want to be left alone, so. Alright, come on, girl, follow me. Yep. Okay, that. Wow, he is, he is devastated. What did Lily May do to that man? Oh, wow. There you go, he's starting to realize. Can't mope around there all day, that's right. You gotta be productive. Excuse me. You did not move, man. How do I back up? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna break this damn wagon. Okay, we're good. We're good. Dude, he just wouldn't move. This thing's hard to take really sharp corners with, that is for damn sure. Also, too, while we're here, I think. Yeah, we'll pay off the bounty if... I think I can pay off the bounty here. There should be a, a bounty station clerk guy, whatever I can talk to. Oh my gosh, I thought that animal was about to get ran over. Ooh. Alright, I should just be able to bring it in right here, right? Yeah, there he is. Oh, 
I wonder how much this one goes for. This is not. This is a pretty good looking wagon. Figured this might be of interest to you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Thank you, sir. And this is for you. How much? So long. Oh, he goes, so he gives you like 40 per? Wait, are you not open right now? Hold on. He's got to go back to his post. I think I need a trinket or something I want to buy from you. There you go. Welcome back, mister. Puppy. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Whoa. Uh, documents, masks, kit, provisions, weapons. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't buy it from him. I know there's a trinket I can buy because I have... I have that... Craft. Oh, wait, is it a crafting? Maybe? After a little chat yeah, here we go. Lion's Paw Trinket. What does this give us? Mm -hmm. Can do. Permanently increases the player's stamina experience bonus by 10%. Ooh, dude, there's a lot of trinkets. Okay, so this is why people were saying to do the legendary... To do legendary animals. Okay. Sounds good. Is there anything I can sell, actually, while I'm here? Oh, you got something for me? Valuables. Oh, yes. Sell People all these. These all the time. Sell that. Gold wedding ring. Yeah, Take we'll sell that. Up off the street, no doubt. Appreciate the custom. Boom. Lion's paw trinket. Yeah, that's crafted from rare. There's a lot of there's a lot of rare legendary trinkets that you can get. That's probably a good idea to start stocking up on those for sure. All right, Albert Mason, I'm on my way. Oh, wait, you know what? No, 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 hold on. Let me let me pay the bounty off real quick. Let me pay the bounty off. Oh, oh, well, hey, puppy. Look at him wagging his tail following me. Hey. Hello, boy. Come here. Let me pet you. Come here. Let me pet you. Come here. Come here. Let me pet you. Why is it not... Pat him. What are you doing, Arthur? Okay, whatever. I tried. I tried. Oh my gosh, the dog is following me. What? Wait, wait. Oh my gosh. The dogs are following me. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I need to head. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I'm getting lost. Okay. Boom. All right. Nice to see a returning face. Oh yeah, returning face that gives you money. Off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash. There you go. What's this Thank guy you. doing here? Sir. Play domino, draw dominoes. Does this guy talk? Win rounds by being the first to place all your tiles. Wait a minute. How does this work? I've never played dominoes before, so this is interesting. This, this will be interesting. Target score is 60. Arthur has the highest double or tile and goes first. Doubles take priority over a non-double of the same value. Select tile. Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. Let's just play it. See what happens. That this tile has no available moves. Please select another tile. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I have known you ain't got the nerve. Hello, mister. What you want? Now, say it like you mean it, mister. Hello? Where are you playing at? My lord. I see mushrooms with bigger brains. <laughs> you say that again, I dare you. I'm only joking <laughs> with you. That's some way to act. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I want to rob you now just for you talking to me like that. All right, all right. I'm good. Let's get out of here. On to Albert Mason. Wait a minute. No, it did it again. I think I have to... I think I have to sleep. I think it's starting to become nighttime. Let's go set up a campfire real quick. Take a little, a little nap. Because for some reason... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. There's a red dot. What is that? Oh, that's weird. Okay. 
Ah, uh, Albert Mason. Gone again. Idiot. Yeah, I'm already here, so I'm gonna take a nap. So I think somebody commented and said that you can only do the Albert Mason, Albert Mason missions during the daytime. Sleep till... Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's give him 12 hours of sleep. I feel like Arthur does not sleep at all. Oh wow. Now it's raining. Maybe I shouldn't have. And, oh, no, okay, Albert Mason Mission's there now. Cool. Damn, now I'm kind of upset now that it's raining. Come on, girl. Because we had such a beautiful day before I, before I took that nap, but it's okay. Should be good. The rain, I'm not gonna lie, actually, the rain looks pretty good. Take a look at this scenery. Beautiful. Help me. Help wow, we got another stranger. Please. You there? Please, can you help me here? My what happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My legs, all oh, no. Oh no. Come on, please help me up. Hands up now. Uh, hey, the best damn well. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I feel so sorry for. Yo, get out of my. I can't. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. All right. Say goodnight, sir. There you go. Where'd my horse go? Where's my horse? Oh, they didn't kill it. Thank God. Woo! It's okay. It's all right. That's what happens when you when you play fake. I thought she was actually hurt. Like, I was being nice. And uh, there goes her head. Hey, oh my gosh. That is crazy. She had a dollar on her. Wow. Oh, we gotta okay, feed. We gotta feed bro. our horse too. Let's give you. What is this? Ginseng. Give the apple. Yeah, there's a girl. There you go. How's the health looking? Oh, we're looking good on the health. Yeah. All right, let's go. Man, we're just getting interrupted today. Holy shit, what is going on? Hey, partner. Well, howdy. Dude, it's pretty sad that she had to fake like she needed help and that she broke her leg just to rob me. Like, if you're going to rob me, do it the right way and just pull out your gun. All right? Don't be... Don't try and play me off like I'm stupid. Come on now. You not know who Arthur Morgan is? I love these Albert Mason missions. Albert is such a good, positive guy. Like, he's so kind-hearted. He cares for people. He's not arrogant and cocky like everybody else we run into in this game, it feels like. And also, he's a really good photographer. Out of the damn way. <clears throat> oh, I thought I, I thought I just started another fight, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yo, we're in a really... Oh, I remember this area. Oh, this area is so nice. The open fields with the big rock formations. This was like the very... This was early on in the game. Don't tell me Albert's up on one of these cliffs. Yo, wait. This might actually be a really good mission. Hold on, hold on. What is this man up to now? Whoa. Mr. Mason? Oh, he always oh. gets scared. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. 
I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> it's too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh. oh my. <laughs> Damn! Dude. You are right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. I can't with this guy. I can't. Okay. Oh, thank you. Come on, get up. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some amazing pictures thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh no, that's it? I wanted to help him out again with another picture. Eh, either way. This was a nice spot. I hope we get more admissions. I hope there's not. I hope that's not the last one. My goodness, dude. This oh it's just it never gets old. It truly never gets old. Yeah. I wonder if we could follow him and see what he's about to get up to. Alright, so we did the Albert Mason mission. That was nice and easy. I think... Okay, this is this is what I want to do. I want to do... I want to go back to camp, buy some upgrades for the camp, and then do the fishing mission with Kieran, and then we're going to hit up Hosea. That is the plan. Hold on, I'm going to follow Albert and see if we can get a little bit more dialogue with him. I wonder where he where does Albert live? I wonder if we ever get to see his house. Good luck, sir. Although as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photograph. Oh, what are you gonna do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Oh well. If uh if I can. Oh, is that it? Alright. Alright, Albert. It was nice seeing you once again. Good luck. Don't die, please. Such a good guy. Love Albert. Jeez, whoa. Wait a minute. What kind of what's how many stars we got here? Three stars? Oh, I'm chasing them. I got to. Yeah. Which one's the three star one, though? Oh my gosh, wait. Can I use a rifle? I really hope that the, that rifle was, was the correct yeah. weapon, because I know this game is very realistic in as far as killing... Oh my gosh, are those what are those over there? Those are horses, aren't they? Oh yeah, those are horses. Okay, this is my first three-star, I think. Yeah, three-star skin. Let's go. This is a good pelt. It should be a yeah, perfect pelt. Long, according girl. to the three-star. Perfect deer pelt, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, my girl. My girl, that's right. Oh, we still need to make space in our satchel. I, f I keep forgetting about that. So up now. Ooh, we got more, we got more. What do we got over there? Oh, those are coyotes? Eh, nah. We'll go with that. Yeah. 
Uh-oh. Well, we got some more ruckus going on. Don't go off that cliff. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, this is the, is this the same guy that we... I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck. Uh? Oh, this is the same guy. Yeah. Oh, you want to lose again, sir? I'm feeling good today, Way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. Of course. Ten dollars. Why not? I'm feeling good, too. Ha! I don't have the right weapon, though. Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? Who can shoot the most bottles? Yep. Let's draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right, All let right? me let me get let me get my tr let me get my trusty. Uh, what do I want to use? Carbon repeater. Come back so we can start. I'm coming. Hey, you need to get a little closer. Well, All right. should we get this going or what? You ready? Shoot. Sure. Ah, yes! Maldito! You just got lucky. We could up the stakes if, if you want. If that makes you feel better, sure. <laughs> oh, that was damn pathetic. Oh, how about another round, huh? Race stakes. <laughs> hey, I'll take your $20, man. Right, let's do it. Come on. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds. Wins. Again? Are you sure? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh, yeah, ready? One, two, three, four, five. We'll do six just to piss them off. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's good shooting, I guess. Hey, man. Here it is, okay? Man of my word. Hey, $20. That was it's still this money is so easy. Let's go. It. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Just not your day, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Guess I need more practice, huh? Mm. Why was it fine tagging? Why'd you even bother betting? Okay. I mean. You must know you ain't good at this. Watch yourself, friend. I had some bad shots, you saw. Hey, I'm just messing with you, dude. Don't take it too don't take it too seriously. Relax, relax. I'm just teasing you. I'm not really in the mood, okay? Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah, we don't wanna Soda. Oh my goodness, should we That's a oh that's only a level Ooh, that's a that's a three star. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Wait, stop moving. I need to get a better shot. I need a better shot. I need a better shot. I need a headshot. So, so sorry. So sorry. I don't even know if I have enough room to hold this. All right, while we're here, let me go into my satchel, and let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need. Actually, you know what? Premium cigarettes. Let me smoke some of these, because we, we, need, we need to collect those cards. I have 20 cigarettes. We get a card every time we smoke one, don't we? All right, what do we not need? All right, you know what? Let's discard the, the biscuits. We don't need the biscuits. Discard all. Get rid of the oat cake. Actually, we'll just eat just eat the oat cake. Let me just get rid of all these baked beans and stuff that we have, because we really don't need most of this crap that we have in the satchel. Or just discard it, I guess. All right, level three American bison. This is going to be a big pill. I don't even know if we have enough room on our horse. We I think we should, but I do believe if we have too much weight on the horse... It'll drain our st the stamina of the horse and the and the health pretty quick. There we go. That is a huge pelt. Can we fit it? Yes, we can. 
I know this is heavy, girl. We're gonna get back. We're gonna get back to camp, and I'll and I'll take all this stuff off your back. Don't worry. Yeah. You stay right there and don't move. Oh. You got a bullet coming. You don't stop. Still. I'm, st I'm still. I'm still. This here is a hold up. You know what to do. Why don't you stretch your legs, huh? Had to stop me, huh? Your mistake. You ain't long for this. Oh life. my gosh. Okay. No. Ah! All right, maybe next time you guys learn. Damn it. Dude. Oh my gosh, the sway on my gun. I need to clean it, don't I? Oh, all right, we're good. Yeah, I think I believe we have to clean this. Oh yeah, clean that thing. I've been using this one a lot, so. Oh, there we go. Weapon is clean. Damn, our dead eye is extremely low. Let me Let me pull out a pull out a cigar real quick. Provisions. Boom, cigar. Oh yeah, actually, wait, 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 let me loot these guys, let me loot these guys. Alright. Yep. Dude, I haven't even gotten to the, the one mission I want to do yet. Because there's just so much, so much that happens when I'm traveling and doing other stuff. But we're gonna hit up Kieran, the fishing. We're gonna fish with Kieran, and then Sadie. It's just me. It's Arthur. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Kieran, fishing mission, and then Hosea. That is the zip plan. Now, do I have to remove? Arthur. Miss Karen, how you getting now? Fine so far. <laughs> and to think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Hell yeah. Now, do I have to remove the pelt from my horse? Or no? Whoa, what just happened to... Oh, sorry. Bring me something sorry. soon if you can. Get yourself cleaned up. Come on. Got you a bunch of stuff. I guess you can take all this, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not using any of this. You got. You got this. Donate all that. Bison horn. I don't know if you could do anything with that, but there you go. Really? Hello, Arthur. Hey. Quite something. What's going on over here, Dutch? Are you flirting with Mary Beth right now? Oh, I can't. Oh, you heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah. Sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Ah, uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. What up, Micah? Mr. Bell. I want a rematch with the knife, Morgan. Man. I said hello, tough guy. You all right there? <laughs> you revolt me. Now there's no need to be rude. <laughs> I'm just it's kidding. all good. Calm down. Whatever you say. Hey, Mike, I'm just messing with you, man. Calm Don't down. Don't worry. I'm just playing with you. You are a strange man sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like antagonizing the people in our camp for so I don't know why. It's like Yeah, right. let me let me talk to Tilly. I haven't talked to Tilly in a little bit. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. 
Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can sell another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Target score, all fives? Okay, so wait, do I just have to view tiles? Do I... Wait, select a tile. How do I... Oh. Uh... Five? Is that is that right? Play? I don't really know how this game works. Edge score, ten. The spinner tile has been placed. Oh, I didn't want to pick that one, but whatever. Edge score 12. The tile has no available moves. Please select another tile. I don't know how this game works. Uh, telling me they don't let blacks in that saloon in town. I have a good mind to go and burn there, it down. There, but nothing. Sure. Score. Oh, wait. Scored zero points. Your turn. Wait, am I winning? I, I, don't, I really don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm literally playing randomly. I don't. I got Domino here. Oh, well, you did okay. well. Hey, good job, Tilly. I don't know what you Here's did. Your point. But, uh. Okay. I need to learn how to play dominoes. Wow. Yo, what up, Bill? Good. Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Yep, you were right. Oh, don't tell me. Why is the fishing mission with him locked? You okay. Hello, sir. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Go fishing. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Oh, oh. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. Dude, I love how Arthur treats everybody. Right, like, then. grab your horse and let's go. Like he'll antagonize them sometimes without even me doing that, and just mess with people, bro. It's hilarious, especially Kieran. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Yeah. Now we're all fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Look at Jack. Because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Oh, I was literally right next to our camp. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. Hmm. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. All right, let's go right, right here. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. What bait are we using? Oh, wait. Should I try cheese? Attack smaller fish such as a breadfin, pickle, and perch. Attracts all medium. Oh, that's one. Okay. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. 
Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Oh. Well, uh, I think we could spread out a little bit. Okay, I'll move over. So I guess he wants me to use cheese. That works. All right. Ain't nothing better than a nice relaxing day of fishing. You getting many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Calm goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Wow. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. I didn't think Kieran would be this important to the to the crew when we first met him, that's for sure. Oh, got something. Got something. Come here, boy. There you go. Reel that thing in. Come on. Come on, please be a bass. A nice a nice medium-sized bass, maybe. Come on, come on. Oh, you're trying to fight me at the very last Keep second. Come on now. Got it. Oh, it's a nice. little tiny thing. Good catch, Arthur. Are we keeping these? I feel like this isn't worth keeping. Native to lakes, swamps, and streams. Pickerel are aggressive predators, so bread is just as good as any bait. Meat is flaky. Uh, I'm gonna throw now it back. See if you can hook another. Oh, I don't have a bait equipped. No, I don't have any more cheese. Okay, what happens if I use this then? I don't know how well this bait's going to work because he told me to use cheese. Karen, you haven't... So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, <laughs> my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. Hey, hey somebody needs to watch go to the line. Oh, hey, I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? <laughs> well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Get out of here. Let's try get our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very funny. What happens if I... Hold on. Hey, wait up! What happens if I do this? Don't tell me you changed your mind. Dang it, I'm okay. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could do that real quick. Go, what a random encounter with a, just a naked man swimming across the lake as you're fishing. Can you imagine? He was a nice guy though. I probably should have just greeted him, but it's all good. He was getting in our in our way, scaring all the fish away. I love these lakes are so fucking nice, man. Gosh, the reflections of the clouds in the water. I've been meaning to try this spot out. Crazy. Is that a deer? Just cruising? Oh, that's a bass. That is a bass. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. 
You have found a legendary Open fish location. Monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess what? We'll, we'll see. In order to catch a legendary fish, you need a special lure. This type of special lure is defined by the body of water where the legendary fish resides. Smaller fish. So these are all smaller fish. Okay. I guess we'll try this. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. Watch your mouth. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Mm. Oh, we got something. Got it. Come on, please be something good. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. Putting up one hell of a fight. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's fighting. It's fighting. Oh, that looks like a nice one. Wait a minute. That looks like a nice one. Not as nearly as big as I thought, but... Oh, nope, not the big one. no. Let's keep trying. That's not a bad size, though. It's a four pound, six ounce smallmouth bass. Eh, just throw it back. We don't need it. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. <laughs> I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second. Oh, wow. Without being terrified of one of Combs boys is going to come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're going to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were going to moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. Oh, got something. Come on. Come on, baby. I bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. How big? How big is this fish that we're talking about? Now, nah, this looks like another small one. Are oh, we trying to fight me at the very last second? Unbelievable. No, that's not it. Damn. Come on. I don't have the the lure for this, I don't think. A seven ounce. Can I switch spots? Let me switch spots. Oh no, I have to stay on this side. Okay. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll have to come back here with bigger bait. Or better bait. That's fine. That works. Alright, we'll head back to camp. Yeah, so this is this is actually really nice. It's right next to us. Alright. We're gonna head back to camp real quick. I'm gonna donate quite a bit of money to get uh, the rest of the... I don't know about the rest of them, but a decent amount of upgrades for the camp. And then we're going to go hit up Jose, and we'll probably end off the episode after the Jose mission. Hey, Arthur. Hello. Nice cat. All good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Damn. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. All right, do we need any of this? I, th I feel like we have plenty. Gin, potent, but yeah, we already got plenty of those. Oh my gosh, yo, Unc. What up? Stay away from me. Oh. <laughs> but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning <laughs> barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. No, why you gotta be so mean to him? Something for you by your tent. A little thank you for that season and you brought me. Oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Miss Grimshaw. Catching up on some reading? Attempting to. Well, if anyone deserves a break, it's you. All right then, Arthur. You know, you always had the most incredible way of putting Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. 
All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Mr. Morgan. All right, what did she give us? Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what was that? What did I just walk into? What the hell is up with him? He must be after something. Slimy bootlicker. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. All right, let's go see what Miss Grimshaw gave us. What is it? Flower. Potent health cure. Okay, we, we already got plenty of those. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting sidetracked again. Let me donate some money and we're gonna bit we're gonna get a bunch of upgrades. What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. Mm. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. That's right. You'll be fine. Don't worry. All right, so we have $3,100. Honestly, we could easily donate. We could donate a lot. I think if we donate like a thousand, we could get quite a bit of upgrades. I just donate that. that is what I like to see. Yeah, you'd like that? You'd like that? Now, we got plenty of upgrades now, so we have $1,295 for the camp. Let's go... So, for everyone. Alright, so $300 to improve that. Let's get... Chicken coop, camp boat, leather working tools. Buy some leather working tools for Pearson. Gain access to extra crafting options. Alright, let's... So, what does this do? Upgrade all remaining lodge improves overall mood of camp. Yeah, let's do that. Everybody should be happy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Everybody's chilling now. Okay, and then we'll grab the horse station. Recall your main horse to camp or access stabled horses quickly. All right, 695. What's more important? I mean, technically we could get, oh, the camp boat. Meta traveler selling an old boat, useful. Easy transport and access to fishing holes. Well, I think I might hold off on that. Yeah, new, add nutrition. This is important, too, for the food. Now, what happens when we move camps again? If, if we do end up moving again, does this all just get transferred to the next camp, or do you have to re-upgrade everything? Leather working tools, and then we'll do this. Yeah, we're getting- we're gonna max out the camp, baby! Let's go! Wait a minute. Hi, my friend. Hi. <gasps> well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Yes, we got our own dog. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. Kane, I like okay. it. Hey, Kane. <laughs> uh, well, what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering, boy. Come here, Kane. You okay, boy? Come here. Let me pat you. There we go. Look at that. Oh, what a cute dog. Hello. Hey, Dutch. Yo, what up, Pearson? Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hey. That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cookie you yet. 
I should do some work. Okay. All right. You get back to that. Hey, Mary Beth. Hello, Arthur. So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so. Most of the time. They're not so bad. Sounds good. Hell. A oh, god damn drink. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay. I'll have another drink. I can't right now, sir. I, I gotta go help with the horses. Sorry. Excuse me. With the horses? Wait a minute. Come on back here. Well, come on back here. You hear? Quit bothering him, Bill. Come on, man. Shit. Why do you want him to drink so bad? It's a, you're a bad influence. Hi, Taylor. Winning that game didn't even cheer me up. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Okay. I'm watching you. I am watching you. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go to... Hosea. Hosea. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Let's eat this real quick. Have a nice little stew before we head out. Uh oh, Mr. Morgan. Uh oh. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Oh, 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 oh! Excuse me, sorry. Get, get out of the way, Reverend. Well, I should get back to it. I suppose. You'll get yours one day, my girl. And you won't get yours. That's the problem. What? Bloody awful. What's going on here? Hey there. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. I need to be alone. Okay, I'm leaving you alone. Jeez. Alright. We're all we're all fed. We talk to pretty much everybody. Yo, Unc, I'm so Arthur sorry. Morgan. Uncle. If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. Just a suggestion. Yep. Yep. Okay, Arthur. All right, Uncle. Stop sitting on your ass and start doing something around here. Let's go see what Sadie's up to. Last person, I swear. I promise. I'm sorry. Last person. Always good to see you. Hi there, Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? No reason. Just making sure. All right, Arthur. You all right, girl? All right, girl. It's time. It is time for another mission. Do we have... All right, no more side missions here. Horse station. Okay. Jose is at the Braithwaite Manor. This is a mission that I was excited to start because I think... I think we're going to be persuading these people again. Because the last time that we met up with the Braithwaite, the owner, she, uh, we had Moonshine that we were trying to get back to her. And then she said, go and go and give it away for free. And then we had that really fun mission with Hosea and the, being a bartender. Oh, great. That was a great time. But now we're going to head back to the mansion and see. I think, I th did it say Sean was there too? Uh, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to... Let it be a surprise. What is that noise? Easy now. What the hell is going on over here? No, you ain't go what the Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? Don't have to tell me twice. You know, let me antagonize these people. Can I antagonize? No, I hit the fuse. You said get lost now. Yo. I think I'm done walking. I think I want to know what's in that safe. Uh, wait, where's my gun? How's the horse? How's the horse? 
Okay, good. Didn't hit, her, hit the horse. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I know. I'm getting you so close to gunfire. I'm so sorry. Hope you boys chose a full safe. How do you get in this thing? Loot? Wait, don't tell me I can't open the safe. Hey, no. There's no way I'm not going to be able to get in the safe. Can I blow it up, maybe? Alright, here, come here, girl. Come here. I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you far away. And I'm gonna throw a piece of dynamite at that safe. I wonder if that'll work. Nope. Dynamite. There we go. Is this gonna work? Well, you know what, Sue? Let me get this horse out of the way. I don't wanna kill the horse. This might be- this might not even work. I'm just gonna try it, because I'm, I'm actually really curious. Because it didn't give me a prompt to open it, so... I feel like this is the next best- This is the next best idea! Oh my gosh, it did work. It did work! Let's go! Not a bad haul. $20! Hey! $40 out of that safe. Not bad. What's going on, fellas? Hi there, mister. Back to your mama, boy. Wait, hey, what? Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Thank you. Wait, are we actually about to go inside this house? Oh my gosh, we're actually going inside. Yo, this is crazy. Howdy. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. The fine but joys of way, tobacco. Sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We are just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Let Jose do the talking. He's the master of words. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> All right, where are we taking this thing? All right, let's Calico get this Hall. over with. Right. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse! I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. <laughs> so what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Torture? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. I'm not thinking this hell about why try fitting my boot up your hook No, just snotty hell bitch. <laughs> yeah. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. But what if we're sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. 
There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, we got a plan. Oh, no. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Dude, I feel like Sean's plans never, never go according to way he thinks of it in his mind. Like, he's got one thing in his head, and then it just goes completely south. I love Sean, though. But whoever the voice actor is for Sean to, is doing such a great job. Or, well, he did a great job. You know what I mean. That Irish accent is, like, perfect. Whoa! Hold up a second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Maybe you're right. You know what? Uh oh. Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Tap to change to Arthur's point of view. Oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, look at all this moonshine. Sean, you better not mess this up. Do not We're mess here. this up. Stay out of sight. I didn't do the talk. Boy. I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, Sean's fine doing pretty good. country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, His laugh, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All ah, right, you are. Hmm. 
<laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Take out the guards silently. Why the plagues you yeah. boys have got here? <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Good work. Good work, man. Jeez, this is, to be, this is about to be insane. We're burning the entire Are field. Is that what's going on here? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Oh, shit. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. All right, follow us on. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. All right, go ahead. I'll wait. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Yo, good luck, Sean. Good luck. When hiding amongst tobacco plants, guards will not be able to see you that easily. Okay. Oh my gosh. They are. Alright. Oh, okay, so it does go away once I'm done. So I just gotta hold it in this little area. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Come on. That's good. Perfect. We got 72% left. Holy shit, there's a guy right there. I'm going for it. Ooh. Alright, we got these two little sections and then one more off to the left. Or no, it looks like two more off to the left. I hope Sean's doing good. That's good for you. Perfect. What is the exact reason we're doing this for? I, I think I, I don't know if I missed what the Braithwaite 
woman was saying. But, oh well, we're already here. Meet Sean at the barn. And yeah, no more. Oh, we're gonna douse this. Okay. Oh! I thought I still had the moonshine in my hand. Why? Why did you shoot? All right, please tell me I don't have to redouse everything. Okay, I don't. All right, we're just meeting back up with him. Douse this too. Okay. Oh, he's gonna douse it. I thought he said we might want to douse this too. I thought that's what he said. Thinks you go, Arthur. Light her up. Wait. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You forced on us. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go lure yourselves a fast and fast. Yeah! Throw it! Throw it! Oh, keep burning? Okay. Boom. Take out the graze guards. Alright. I'm coming. Not right now. We got company. Look out! Oh, shit. Oh, what a shot. Oh, people to the left, people to the left. Shoot the gun, Arthur. How's he not dead? Switch, yo, switch, switch hands, Arthur. This is a goddamn mess. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them. They didn't tell me nothing. So go. There's more of them. There goes out right out of here. No, keep your head. Keep your head. Damn it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can't aim for shit right now. What's going on? Wait, you're not dead? Now you're not. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. This is insane. Gosh, oh my gosh. See, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, take those horses. Free the horses. Well, there, see, Cut free. The was actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Come on, hey, come on, go. come on. Sean, hurry up. Sean, come on, Sean. What are you doing? Okay, right, let's, let's go. Get the hell out of here, fast. Do right, follow me. Holy shit, man! Oh, man up ahead. Dude. I'm a hangar scout. There we go. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? <laughs> that break weight had got a money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Yo, what a freaking mission. This music is so good. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Yeah. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's go back to camp. Wow. We just ran up in there and just destroyed all of their all of their tobacco. Wow. So much for being uh the deputies, huh? We just <laughs> we are doing everything opposite of what a deputy would do. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. What you need? You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born, born and down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. Yeah, seriously. Uh, that, that, uh, ah, I can't speak. Burning those to the tobacco fields might cause some trouble down the road, but who knows? Oh, everybody's already fast asleep. All right. Oh, we got a mission with Micah? All right. I'm going to take a nap. I like it to be daytime. Usually daytime is, is uh, looks the best. All right. Let's sleep till noon. All right. We got a few new uh, journal entries. Let's go see what we got. Oh, there's probably I probably missed a couple of them, didn't I? Oh, saw Albert again. Bored of fighting animals, he tried to fight gravity. Again, he somehow survived. I hope he will now retire from a life even more idiotic and dangerous than mine. Mm. All right, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna do this mission with Micah. Yeah, I don't want to get off yet. I wanna I'm gonna do this okay. mission with Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. <laughs> no doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. <laughs> it's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat Stop man. Stop calling him fat. We met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> hey. <sighs> anyway, somehow it didn't, <laughs> but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parlay? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. 
As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. Oh, you let's do it. Me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Sorry, Pearson. I would love to have you go come along with us, but you're gonna have to chill here for now. Yo, let's go, man. I missed having Dutch with the, riding with the crew. Uh, fine. Mount up, then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, away. I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had. Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. Mm. As would I. Mm. That's that's true friendship right there. True love. True trust. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense, too, mm. but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. That whole liberty and justice for all, man, that's what they, that's what they tell you, but the people who are in power, they don't all believe right, that. Cowpoke, you're going to peel off up ahead. All right. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. All right. We'll be there, partner. Go to the observation position. Good luck, boys. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Man, I wonder why they've been giving us the... They got us to buy the sniper rifle from the early on mission with John. 
We are literally, it is coming in handy with a lot of these missions. Whoa, easy. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Who are they meeting with? Oh shit, here we go. Hello, Dutch. Oh, it's cold. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Mm. Y'all love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? What? <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not. Oh my! Oh! Walford? I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them up. He's escaping, shoot him! Wait, what? Relax. Relax. No, 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 no. No. Did I kill you? No. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. Oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, what? What the hell happened? Dutch, you freaking bastard. He finally oh. put his weapons over there. Got us upside down. I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Day nine. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, Dutch's famous car uh, You killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point gaggy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Con. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. The 
privacy. We learn an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then oh. disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. Dutch Dutch should have killed him. Dutch should have killed this man. This would have never happened. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. This can be used to pick your lock. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is insane. Come up. Come up. Grab it. Let's go. Oh. What do they got us wearing, dude? What is this? They shot him right in the shoulder. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's doing this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt. Yep, cauterize. Oh shit. I don't wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Sit down, friend. Why am I saying he ain't my friend? We got three throwing knives? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Leave the area on a horse. Where's the horse? Where do, we, where do I find a horse at? Oh my gosh, it's over there. Do I take this guy out? Oh. What's going on Shit. Here? Shit. Damn it. Damn it. Get up. Go, 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 go. Wait, I should have grabbed a gun. I should have grabbed a gun. Oh no. No! Okay, hold on. I gotta restart. I gotta restart that. I didn't want to get- I did not want to get caught. That was so bad. That was so bad. I can't believe I missed- ugh, I should have got closer to the dude. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes to that side of me. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of going that other way, I'm just gonna go this way. Stealth kill this guy. Yeah, stealth kill him. And then we should be able to get to our horse actually without even being spotted, no? Yeah, we can. We should be able to just go without being spotted. Wow, I should have done that the first time. What am I thinking? Woo! We out of there. Your Driscolls are patrolling the roads around the cabin. Evade them and escape the area. Gosh. Oh my. Oh sh Shit. 
<laughs> give me, the, give me the freaking gun! Give me the gun! Oh my gosh! Get on the horse! Go, 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 go! Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die again! No way! Dude, what is happening? Why am I falling off my horse? You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. Make sure I look for where I'm going. Okay, we're good, we're good. Do I have anything to heal? No, we don't. Oh, the Odrisco suck at keeping- Oh, come on, girl. Get me home. The Odrisco suck at keeping people prisoners. Like, bro, I just got out of there. No problem whatsoever. Oh my gosh, did we pass out on the horse? My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. Dodge, what are you about to do? You're home. That's not good. Uh, so they're setting the law after us. So that means the deputy thing is out the water. And, uh, oh wow, a few weeks later. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Oh, good. the beard. How you feeling? Oh. Uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <sighs> the gang have replaced your stolen weapons. They are on your saddle. All right, perfect. We have a new journal entry. I'm going to read that. Ain't come down with gangrene and I will live if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaites have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the aristoc aristocracy. All right, well, I think this is a great spot to end off this episode. Of course, another fantastic one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is interesting now. Things are getting... Things are heating up a little bit, it seems like. O'Driscoll, Calm, send the law after us. I have no idea what's going to happen with that. But, of course, it's going to cause trouble. Man, things were going so well. And one thing, one little thing just changed everything. Dutch should have killed Calm when he had the chance. If he even did have a chance. I think he did. 
Um, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.